If you are in the printing industry, you need to do five things, only five, like the five figures. The first one is you need to work with your clients, big or small. Because I'm not only talking about the big, big giants like the Nestle and the Pepsi and all these guys. I'm also talking about the shops around the corner that you are dealing with on the day to day. The SMBs, as we say in English, small and medium sized companies. So you need to work with them to understand what they want to do. And you should not be only taking orders, stupidly. You need to really talk to them and ask them, hey guys, why do you do that? Why have you not thought about doing this and so on? And you need to help them in designing their products the right way. And when I say products, it doesn't have to be a box, it can be a direct mail, it can be a brochure, it can be a catalog. So if they come to you and they say, I want a 50 pages catalog, can you do it for me? Of course you can say, yes, I can do it. And you can give your better price, your best price. Maybe someone will make it even cheaper. No, you can tell them, okay, why do you do a 50 pages catalog? And how many do you need? Do you need 1,000 copies? Oh yes, thousand. But why thousand? Maybe you make only five hundred, and then you do a reprint. Or maybe you don't need fifty pages of thousand catalogs, but you need only twenty pages in bigger quantities, and then sometimes you will need fifty pages. So you need to to discuss with your clients when you are taking orders. That's really really important. The second thing you need to do, and you need to to understand data management. Because the documents today, they, they are going to have viable data printing, personalization, versioning, limited edition, and so on. So you need to be able to understand all the technology embedded into a document. And here you need special people. It's not someone that is changing plates on an offset press that can do that. You need IT skills. And these IT skills, you need to have them in your house. Third, you need to be very good at printing. Most of the printers, you are good at that because you have been doing that for the last 50 years. So printing operation, you start a job, you print it, you finish it, you put the glue, you put the right substrate, you pack it. That, that is what we call operational excellence. Then you need logistic. Logistic is not only the printing part in the middle, that I was just mentioning. This is not logistic, this is print operation. Logistic is the entire workflow from taking orders on the phone, on the web, face to face, whatever, you take orders, and then you ship the invoice, and then you are paid. You are paid on time. Otherwise, we'll have a big cash flow issue. So the entire workflow from order taking to invoice payment, that has to be also extremely well managed. And then the last point is overall cost management. You need to have a good operating model within your company, whatever you decide to do. But now comes the trick. These five things, keep them in mind. You see them again. And we are often talking about print service providers. I like the word print service providers, but you need to be clear that printing and service providing, it's not the same. So you need to decide if you want to do both, and you can, or you want to be a printer, or you want to be a service provider, and it's up to you. But if you decide to be a printer, you need to be really good at print operation, logistic, cost management. If you want to really do service provider, you need to be very good in working with your clients, engaging with them, and managing all the big data, the workflow, complexity. Logistic, both of you need to be good. Cost management is less important here because typically the margins are much higher. So that's the things that you, you need to have in mind. And then you will understand why I say that. So printers need to print very effectively and there will be further industry consolidation over here, driven by online printing. And service providing is where you have growth, because you need to give good advices to the brands, and you need to work with them, understanding what they want to achieve 
when they do a specific campaign. 